KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we have most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The only one that is not is the semis are off 13 points. Dow's up 208, S&P 26, NASDAQ 39, Russell's up 29%. Russell's the biggest mover, 1.6%. Trannies are really about 1.6% as well, 228 points to the upside. Gold's off 27 bucks, trading at 1956. We'll figure out where she's headed to. Lightspeed crude is up a buck. Uh, uh, silver's off uh, 16 pennies, trading at 22.48. Natural gas off a nickel. Uh, 30 year treasury down 22 ticks, trading out 130.24. Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner. You've got the ES mini. The ES mini right now is trading right up into resistance. Resistance, as you know, is 4,007. That's the top of the daily profile. I don't expect price to really close above that or much above that uh, before we hear Powell's statement tomorrow. So we could see a pretty much a, a very sideways ish type move uh, between the rest of the day and uh, tomorrow. Now, if price does close above, 4,009 and a quarter, we're at 4,975, so two ticks right now. That would uh, or could generate an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. 40, 67, 25 would be the uh, first one to one price target. Now, at the same time that we have the ES Mini testing resistance, the top of a daily profile, we're about to see the spot volatility test support. That's his 50 day exponential moving average. So it's kind of like we're at the precipice here. If the, I don't expect the spot volatility to close below its 50 day, which is at 2162. Not that it can't. If it does, it puts buying pressure back in the ES Mini. But it makes sense that we stop a resistance in essence for the ES Mini is at at the top of its profile. And the same thing with regard to spot volatility, just the opposite with price finding support support at that 50 day. If we take a look at the NQ, it's above profile levels. Um, it is above, uh, well, it's not above the B point of its um, of its potential A to B equal C to depth side. That would require a close above 12, 8, 11, 25. I'm not even sure that that's really an A to B equal C to. I'm going to, in fact, get rid of it. The reason is because the retracement level is only at 28%, but it's out there. Uh, if we take a look at uh, the U.S. dollar index, it is now in an A to B equal CD to the downside. It's one-to-one -one price projection is 102.28, 68% to retracement out there. So most likely, that's where it finds support. And that could set up a Gartley buy pattern. If we take a look at gold, it is pulling back. It is trying to form a new profile. Now, we won't have a confirmation of this profile until this evening. But the next area of support for Goldilocks, 1922.50. And below that would be 1867. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.